Okay, I'm gonna. Not, I'm not gonna even bother to describe the end of the rabbit hole. This show started off really good, and it looked like it had promise. Then I went to episodes five, six, seven, and eight, and I don't, it just makes me want to puke, throw up. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, I'll give you the names though: Tom, the Playbook, Gilgamesh, and Ace in the Hole. Now, whatever Kiefer Sutherland was thinking of, I don't know what. But every time you watch him, you always think he's going to turn into Jack Bauer or something and take over the world or, you know, save the day or whatever you want to call it. This movie, you know, he, he shows to those symptoms because that's the kind of actor he is, but he didn't really do anything badass in this show at all. And it was kind of depressing. It was confusing to me. Maybe it's my own feeble mind that couldn't wrap, I could wrap myself around it. When I watched this show, I felt as if I was... You know, something's off here. You know, what the hell's going on? I keep saying to myself over and over and over again, I'm really not that Im impressed. But I have to say one thing. The Blu-ray quality was really good. I, I have to say that about it. Blu-ray quality was superb. And the audio was good too. And the audio track was, let me see, a DTS HD audio. And probably good to Dolby audio. You got all this other stuff. Um... Um, you can tell them they tried to do something different with the font, with the discs, and that's it. So I give this show a miserable 5 out of 10, especially the ending. The beginning was okay. It wasn't perfect, but it was it was pretty good. And then they, I don't know what happened. You can't blame Kiefer Sutherland for it. All Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland can do is um is act. you got, you got to get the people who actually wrote the show and yell at them. Bye-bye.